It's found on the west coast of the United States. And we can't grow it here. It's too, too hot. Yeah, remember, we look with our eyes. We're observing with our eyes. You're right. funny. And, uh, what other questions do you have? Okay, so do you remember what kinds of insects the pitcher plants eat, Jackie? Hold the stroller, please. Well, you could ask Mr. Phil. He knows about these things. They eat uh, flies, spiders, uh, millipedes, just about anything that will fall in the pitcher. Butterflies can actually be eaten by them. Yeah. Very small ones, not the bird butterflies. They're like I've actually seen them catch butterflies this big. The wings fold up and they slide down into the pitcher. We've actually had pitcher plants here catching lizards, too. Really? Actually, you know, had a blue line skink in one. Uh, we had a red headed skink in another. So. Jackie, did you want to know something about how the water gets into the pitcher plant? Well, in this, in that case of the purple pitcher plant, they're open, and rainwater can go right into the leaf. Okay. And in the case of uh, what we call trumpet species like this, because they're like a trumpet, the lid of the of the leaf keeps the water out. So there really isn't a whole lot of water in these. Now oh, that one's kind of at an angle, so some water works. can get in there, but these really don't have a whole lot of water. In there. <laughs> Hold the stroller. What's that? Hold the stroller. Hold the stroller. Uh, the, the leaf does not move. These, uh, don't move. No that's with not these, yours. With these no. Are you thinking about the fly trap, the Venus fly trap? Do you remember the difference between active and passive? That's right. Yeah, they're active and passive traps. Now, which one is the pitcher plant, Jackie? Is it active or passive? Passive. Right. Very good. Very good. Um, we don't roll. What's that? Yeah, don't Good job, Jackie. Uh, we really don't have a down. lot of fly traps out here that you can easily see. I've got them in the cage, but we're going to stay out of that. Uh, what do you see? Yeah, those are, that's in hydroponic oh. culture. It's not even potted. They're actually just set in water. Jackie, do you know what hydroponic means? No. You oh. could ask Mr. Phil, and I'll bet he would tell you. Come on, George. Yeah, it's water culture. Just in water. Come on, George. Oh, man. Now, we've had a lot of rain, so the rain has washed off the dew on this sundew, but these are called sticky traps. And watch my hand. It's actually sticking. Well, it's it's actually the rain washed off. Well, you can see a little bit of the dew. See it sticking to me? Yeah. You see it? There's a little bit of mucilage on here. Look at that. Oh, there we go. That, you know, I was, we had a, a lot of rain. There we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. See the stickiness? See Sticky, that's right, George. No, George. Not too close, buddy. So that's uh, that is a flypaper trap called uh, Drosera sundews. And don't touch that. Okay. Yeah, don't touch, yeah, don't touch sweetie. <laughs> We're observing with our eyes and with our ears, but not with our sense of touch. Okay. But girls, do you remember what I told you in the van? Remember how if you rubbed your fingers together in the van, they were dry? What happens when you rub them together here, near where the plants are growing? Just rub your hands together and tell me what you feel. George. I feel wet. Right. You feel moisture because the plants are growing in a lot of water. Hey, hey, son. That's a loose board. No, hey, dude. Come on over here, No, dude. you come over here with me. Yeah, that's... He no. found the one no. board that's going to go boy. No. Dot, you stay with Jackie. I've got George. You stay with Jackie. Okay, hold on to the stroller, big